Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we are going to continue creating our drop down navigation. In the last video, we had created this drop down navigation menu. We had this sub menus over here, and this is basically a web version of our drop down navigation. Now, we are going to make this whole web page responsive so that when you view this on a smartphone, you will get a smooth experience. So first of all, let me show you what happens if you view this in a smartphone. So let me just resize the window. So when we decrease the size of our window, we can see we cannot see the whole menu. The visitor has to scroll to the right to view all the menus. So we don't want this to happen when using a smartphone. So we are going to fix that in this video. Now let me just show you the final result of our video. So this is the web version of the web page. Now when we resize the window, we can see that the menu disappears and we get an icon over here. When we click on this icon, we get all these menus and when we click on one of the menus, we get all the sub menus and when we increase the size of our window, we can see the the icon disappears and we get the regular desktop navigation so let's get started in the last video i just forgot to add a symbol over here for the arrow symbol that we see in this web page so let let me just add that and then we'll continue with this video so here we will type in in front of web dev ampersand r a q u o and we can see that we get this symbol over here so that's basically it now we will start designing the menu for a mobile device so there are basically two ways in which you can approach this you can turn this this menu itself into a mobile navigation menu or you can create another division and create a completely different menu so in this video we are going to create a different division because the structure of the mobile version of our navigation is a little bit different so we have to create a different division so we'll go ahead and first of all we'll create the icon which we had over here so for that we will type input and in type we will we will give checkbox and then we will give it a class of menu check and we will give it an ID of menu so this is the checkbox that we have so we are not going to use JavaScript in this video so we have to use checkboxes to turn on and off the menu now we will type a label for our menu and we'll also give it a class name of menu icon and we have a symbol for that we will type ampersand hash 9776 so we have this symbol now the next thing that we will do is create a division for our mobile navigation we will type division and we will give it a class name of navigation mobile and in that we will create a division called item and in item we will have another checkbox so we'll type input type checkbox and we'll give it an id of item 1 after that we will give a label for our item 1 which corresponds to this checkbox and in that we will type the first menu that we have that is programming and here we will have an unordered list so in that we will type 
the list items that we have so we have C++ we just copy this so here we are not going to have this separate sub menu we will just put everything in programming we will type C sharp Java JavaScript PHP Ruby and Python so this is the first menu now we'll copy the whole division and create another menu so here we will type item number 2 and in here also we will type item 2 the next menu is OS and in that we have Windows Macintosh and Linux so we'll type Windows Macintosh and Linux will delete all these other list items now we will copy this whole division and create the third the third menu that we have that is called item 3 we'll just type item 3 over here and here we will type Android iOS web and Windows and the last menu is the about menu so we will have another division called item and in that we will type an anchor tag and here we will type about.html and we will type in about and here we will also give it a class called item last so we are giving this class item last over here because we are going to style all the labels in our item for example in this item we have this label and in this item division we have this label that is OS so we have to have the same style applied to about as well so we will add this class also when we style our when we style in our CSS now the last thing that we need to do in our HTML is type in meta and in that we will type name is equal to viewport and content is equal to width equals device width initial scale is 1.0 so you can type exactly what i have typed over here this is essential for the responsive nature of our web page so this is pretty much what we need to do in our html now we will move to our css and do some styling so in css you need to use media queries so using media queries you can set a different styling for your web page based on different properties of the device that the user is using First of all we need to type media screen and here we will type max width and 600 pixels. So this line of code means that if the user is using a screen which has at max 600 pixels of width then all the style all the styling that we write over here will be applied to the web page and if the width of the screen is greater than 600 pixels then the web page will do look in a different manner in fact the whole styling that we did above here will be applied so first of all we will style our heading so when we have a screen which is less than 600 pixels we need to do some changes to our heading so for that we will type padding 30 pixels text align to right so right now it is in the center 
and font size we will decrease the font size so 20 points and we will also decrease the letter spacing 11 pixels so now we will just decrease the size of our window to check our media query so here we can see that we are reaching 600 pixels over here and we see the changes that we made to our heading so now let me just keep it to less than 600 pixels so the very next thing that we need to do is hide this navigation bar because we are going to display a different navigation bar for our mobile device so we will type in navigation desktop we had given this class name to our division and we will just type display none so we have that hidden now after that we will style our menu icon display block position absolute we want to place our menu icon on beside our heading so we will type top 26 pixels and left 10 pixels we'll also change the color of our font to f0 f1 f5 and change the font size to 20 points give it a padding of 3 pixels and cursor to pointer so we have that styling set up so now we will style our input so we'll just type item input this is referring to all the let me show you in our html and this this is the item division and this is the input so we have different item divisions and in those we have input tags which are the check boxes so we need to hide them so we'll just type display none we just need to hide this one also which we will do later so we'll just type item label and item last so this is referring to our uh, headings so this item last is referring to the about menu in the html let me just show you so this this is the item last when we click on the about we need to go to a certain, a certain web page so we needed to have an anchor tag so let's switch back to our css here we will type text align to center display block and padding of 10 pixels background color to f c 57 5 e and font size to 12 points then we'll give a text transform to uppercase and the color of our text to one one two two three three font family big john cursor pointer and border bottom to solid one pixels e -E -E. so we have our headings set up here if you see in the about we also have an underline so to get rid of the underline in an anchor tag you have to just type text decoration none so we can see that we got rid of our underline now we will style what should happen when we hover over these so we we'll just type item hover item label item label hover and item last hover so we will give it a background color of 223433 three, three, 
and the color of the text to F0, F1, F5. So we have that change over here in our web page. Now we will style the unordered list in the item division. So just type item UL and here we will type max height that is the max height that we want so initially we need to set it to zero so that the sub menus are not visible and we also need to hide these things over here so we will type overflow hidden so anything that is more than the height of the division will be hidden and set the text alignment to center so we will remove both of these for now because we need to design our navigation bar first and then we will set the max height to zero so here we will type item ulia which will access all the anchor tags which are in the list item of our unordered list so here we will give it a background color of ddd and display block text decoration to none we don't want those underlines the color of the text to 333 font family big john font size elon points and board border bottom two pixels solid AAA and the padding to 10 pixels so we have designed our sub menus over here and we'll also set what should happen when we hover over them so we'll just type hover and change the background color so there we can see we have the style applied now we'll go ahead and set the maximum height to zero max height zero and overflow to hidden so what we need to do is uh, set the height of our sub menus to something else when we click on one of these menus and for that we will use item input and checked so here if you will see in our html we have these checkboxes and when we click on this checkbox we need to have this ul over here change its height this ul is besides our checkbox we need to use this this symbol over here with the ul so that we can make changes to our ul there are many different symbols used which are for different purposes so here we will type max height 400 pixels so now if we check over here when we click this we have this we have the sub menus displayed we have this about page so i have set a uh, max height of 400 pixels because none of the sub menus are above 400 pixels so we, we also need to have an animation over here when it is displayed so we will just type transition all and over here also we will give a transition all to 0.2 seconds so now if we check we can see we have our sub menu displayed and also the transitions are displayed we will uh, hide the menu icon and this this is called the menu check if you see in our html we have the menu icon this is the menu icon and menu check this is the menu check so we need to hide both of these 
when we are on a desktop navigation so before our media query we will just type dot menu icon and menu check display none so we have got rid of our checkbox and the last thing that we need to do is so when you click on this menu icon we need to display this navigation menu and when we click on it again we need to hide it so for that first of all we need to hide our navigation this navigation so we'll just add our mobile navigation also over here navigation mobile and here we will add menu check checked we will give this sign over here and navigation mobile display block so when we click on this we will get this navigation menu and when we click on this again we can see that it is hidden the last thing that we need to do is make some changes to our footer when we are on a mobile device we will make the position of it to be fixed and it will stay at the bottom we have created two different navigation bars one for a desktop navigation and the other for the mobile navigation menu and we have added our media query over here so if our screen is 600 pixels wide then we have this view over here and if our screen is bigger we have this view over here so we just forgot to do one thing that is hide our mobile navigation so here we will also type mobile navigation mobile and when we have a smaller screen we see this mobile menu so that's it for this tutorial i hope you have enjoyed this and if you have any doubts or questions regarding this you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and if you are not already subscribed to the channel please do so so that you will get the notifications for the new video uploads thanks a lot for watching have a nice day